last two videos uh, we have uh, been introduced to the notion of integ improper integrals of first kind and we have also looked at uh, convergence tests for uh, the improper integrals of the first kind and here we are going to finish off the discussion on improper integrals by talking about the improper integrals of the second kind so what was the so how was improper integrals of the first kind defined so there we were considering intervals which were which were unbounded and and as i have motivated the other case that is uh, left to be dealt with is the case where the functions uh, in our intervals are unbounded so here what we do is that we fix an interval so we fix two numbers a less than or equal to b and uh, we consider functions on intervals of this kind so uh, so the intervals that are uh, open in one side and closed in another side so it could be like this as well or it could be simply an open interval so let us uh, go through the cases one by one so in the first case we come across uh, come across the difficulty that uh, uh, we have a function which is unbounded on the uh, on the left sided open interval a and closed b uh, but it is integrable on any closed interval which is properly contained inside uh, inside this interval a b so what i mean is that you take any x in between so a less than x less than or equal to b uh, and then if you consider this closed interval then our function is integrable but uh, if i come close to if i come here come to the interval a b then it is going to be unbounded the function is unbounded and we know that uh, and we know that unbounded functions are not riemann integrable uh, so so and but in the interim intervals all the functions are bounded uh, because they are given to be integrable so how do we deal with such cases how do we talk about convergence divergence etc so here for our uh, brevity of symbols uh, uh, so we make use of uh, this symbol integral uh, and this uh, subscript implies that we are actually taking integral in the interval where it is open in the left hand side and closed in the right hand side uh, because if I wanted to write integrals of this form, then it would somehow imply that the uh, integral is being taken on the closed interval. Okay, so we say that uh, uh, an integral of this form is convergent uh, if similar things happen as it happened in the integrals of first kind. Namely, we can talk about uh, we can talk about these integrals if we if we take x in between a and b this way we can talk about integrals from x to b because of ft dt because we know that f is integrable in uh, in this closed interval uh, x to b and if the limit as we come towards a from the right hand side so which is denoted by limit extending to a plus exists then we say that this integral is convergent and uh, if our uh, integral is not convergent it is called divergent so these are some uh, terminologies nothing else and if the integral is convergent we say that the value of the integral is given by exactly this limit so if this limit exists then it is called convergent and if it is convergent then the value of the of the integral that we just talked about is exactly given by this limit now let us look at another case so here we uh, we have the following issue so again we have an interval but it is closed on the left hand side open on the right hand side and suppose we are considering a function which is unbounded on this interval and suppose that f is integrable on a closed x so of uh, uh, so uh, closed sub intervals of this form for whatever values of x that you want to take in between a and b but x cannot be equal to b so then uh, we say that an integral uh, like this now uh, you can probably uh, make sense of this notation even uh, without me explaining this explicitly uh, it is convergent if, the, if this limit exists 
so as i uh, so as you can see from here that this is integrable so this value so so this function ft is integrable in the interval a to x so this value exists and if this limit exists which is taken from the left hand side towards b then this integral is said to be convergent and again if it is not convergent it is said to be divergent and it is now quite clear that if it is convergent then we will assign the value uh, to be exactly this limit for uh, to this integral that we are interested in so now let us go forward so suppose uh, now we are in a situation where we are considering an open interval and this function is un unbounded however it is given that if you take any uh, closed sub interval inside this open interval then uh, this function f is integrable so uh, so we again use this notation to uh, to denote an integral of uh, the form that we are interested in uh, so we want to integrate f in this open interval a b and uh, this has the spirit quite similar to integrals uh, improper integrals of the first kind that we have seen in our previous video lectures uh, so so what do we do so we say that so uh, what we do is that we first uh, fix a point somewhere so this is our interval a b and we fix a point c and we say that this integral is convergent if these two integrals are convergent so the integral of the improper integral of f uh, taken in this interval is convergent as well as the improper integral of f taken in this open interval or semi open interval is convergent and uh, this is given by these two quantities and suppose that and suppose that uh, the the integral is convergent then we assign uh, the value uh, of uh, this integral to be equal to the sum of these two uh, smaller integrals so here you might come across one more case uh, uh, strictly speaking many more cases but uh, one more case will be uh, will suffice for this discussion is that suppose uh, we have functions uh, on our interval a b so suppose we have closed interval a b here and suppose that there is a point c where uh, the function gets unbounded so suppose that this function is of this form which is unbounded towards c and also uh, it is unbounded uh, from c but towards c if i come from the uh, right hand side so so what do i mean uh, uh, so what do i mean so suppose that c is a point inside this open interval and uh, our condition is that f is integrable on uh, closed interval a x uh, for every x that you can think of in between a and c however the function is unbounded in the semi open interval a c we also have this condition uh, as i have just mentioned that f is integrable on the closed interval x p for whatever value uh, of x that you want to consider so this is our c so if you take an x here the function is uh, the integral uh, the uh, Riemann integral of f exists in this interval or even if you take uh, uh, x here then the Riemann integral of this function f exists in this closed interval however in this semi open interval the function is unbounded as well as in this semi open interval the function is unbounded so then how do we deal with this so uh, so we have our intuitions of domain additivity of riemann integration so we divide this integral into two parts we divide this integral from a to b of f into two parts and uh, so what are the two parts we have two improper integrals uh, which are on the interval uh, semi open interval closed a open c and semi open interval open c closed b we say that this integral is convergent if both these integrals that we just talked about are convergent and if it is convergent then we assign uh, the sum of these two integrals to be the value of the integral that we are mainly interested in 
so before i go to examples i wanted to uh, uh, make one more point here so in the previous case where we talked about uh, integrals of uh, integrals on uh, open intervals both sided open intervals there is a notion of cauchy principal value as we have mentioned in our uh, in our previous video for unbounded intervals so similar things exist here so what is that so it says that um, suppose we are considering an in integral of this form so uh, integral of a function in an open interval uh, so which is of the third type uh, mentioned in this video and suppose that uh, the limit is epsilon tends to 0 plus and uh, the lower limit is a plus epsilon the upper limit is b minus epsilon this uh, this and we are taking integral of f of t in this open interval in this closed interval a minus epsilon b plus epsilon so we know that this uh, the function f t is integrable on this interval so we uh, so it makes sense to talk about this integral and it makes sense to consider or ask at least whether this limit exists or not so if this limit exists then this limit is called the Cauchy principal value of the integral that we just talked about on the other hand uh, as uh, we mentioned in our previous video similar things happen here if this integral is convergent then it turns out that the Cauchy principal value exists but the converse is not true so far so good we proceed towards a couple of examples before we conclude our discussion on 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 uh, on him proper integrals so what are the uh, two examples the first e example uh, is a simple one here we have considered the integral uh, of the function uh, 1 by 1 minus x over the interval 0 1 so you can see that if we consider uh, this interval 0 and 1 uh, the function 1 by 1 minus x is, con uh, is continuous in any closed interval of this form so if you pick up any x in between or whatever so you pick up any number in between in this closed interval this function is going to be continuous and as a consequence we know that this function is Riemann integrable inside this interval however you can see that as we uh, go towards the value 1 uh, the function becomes larger and larger and in fact unbounded so we are in the situation of uh, uh, of a Riemann of a, of an in, uh, improper integral of second kind so then what we have to uh, do we have to compute we have to look at this limit so integral from 0 to x 1 by 1 minus t dt if you do this computations correctly uh, then you will see that the limit turns out to be infinity so so that means that this limit does not exist and as a consequence we say that this integral is divergent one last example uh, in this notion of improper integrals so we consider the function uh, we consider the integral uh, of the function 1 by t minus 1 to the power 2 by 3 in the interval 0 to 3 so you will see that this is of the uh, fourth type of uh, cases uh, case that we have mentioned in this video so here what happens if i come from 0 to 1 this function gets unbounded however it is uh, continuous in any closed sub interval so it is inter uh, it is integrable here so if i pick any x here in between 0 and 1 and uh, of course x is not equal to 1 then this function 1 by t minus 1 to the power 2 by 3 is continuous in this interval so it is integrable in this interval also if i pick up any y here then on this interval this function is continuous and hence integrable however in this uh, sub interval also we can see that this function is unbounded so uh, how do we proceed now uh, uh, so here is the thing so uh, so we have to divide our integral into two parts and we have to check two integrals here exactly so first we have to check what happens 
uh, with this interval 0 1 and what happens with this interval 1 3 so what happens with this interval so we have an improper integral uh, of the second kind here this function goes to infinity but in the closed interval 0 x where x lies between 0 and 1 this function is integrable so so we look at this limit limit extending to 1 minus uh, integral of zero, integral of this function in the interval 0 to x and if you do all your computations correctly you will see that this limit um, turns out to be equal to 3. Similarly, if you uh, want to compute this integral from the uh, on the interval 1 to 3, then if you do again all the computations correctly, it turns out to be 3 times 2 to the power 1 by 3. So what we see is that this uh, sub integral, if you want to call it, is convergent. The other sub integral, if you want to call it again, is convergent and in total uh, by what we have said in the first slide of this video is that the whole integral uh, 0 to 3 that we started our journey with in this exercise is convergent and what is the value of this integral the value of the integral is just uh, sum of these two smaller integrals which is given by 3 plus 3 times 2 to the power 1 by 3 so with this we have properly finished our study of uh, improper integrals.